Today I'm making something really, really yummy, and this is my strawberry double chocolate tart. So let's get on with the ingredients for the actual chocolate pastry. A half a cup of butter, and I'm using unsalted butter. One third of a cup of regular white sugar. One teaspoon of vanilla. A quarter teaspoon of baking powder. An eighth of a teaspoon of salt one egg yolk, a third of a cup of cocoa powder, and that's just regular cocoa powder, and one cup of all-purpose flour. So those are the ingredients for our chocolate crust. So we'll start on that, then afterwards we'll work on the chocolate filling, which is our beautiful chocolate ganache. So those are the ingredients for our chocolate crust, so let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do to make this really, really simple is I'm going to take all of my dry ingredients and sift them into a large bowl. So that's my flour. We've got our cocoa powder. So will just get that out nice and gently. Just give it a little tap. There we go. Okay. Our baking powder. Give that another little tap. And our salt. And there we go. And then we're just going to gently sift this right into our bowl. You know, a lot of these recipes, sometimes you look at them and the amount of stuff, you know, the ingredients that we're using, it makes it so much easier. I'm just getting a fork here, or a, sorry, a spoon. It's so much easier when you look at a recipe and you get all of your stuff out beforehand. It's just much easier. You, you know, you look at it and you say, okay, you know what, I can tackle this recipe. So it's always good to bring everything out first, measure it all out, and then start your recipe. Just makes it feel, you know, that you can do it. It's a lot, it just feels easier. So there we go. Everything's nicely sifted in our bowl. You know, sometimes the recipes, they do look a little bit, you know, overwhelming. But by measuring out all of your ingredients first, it's a good thing. You know, and then you look at it and you say, okay, I can break this down and, you know, it just comes to, together that much easier. So there we go, so there are all of our dry ingredients. So now, we're actually gonna make the crust, so I'm gonna get ready for that, I'll be back in one second. So I'm back as promised, a couple seconds later, we've got our nice butter in there, we'll get our butter in there, and our sugar, grab our mixer, and you guessed it, we're gonna cream this mixture. So we're gonna get this nicely creamed up. So I'll keep going at this for a few seconds and I'll come back when it's a little bit better creamed. And when your butter is really, really warm, this is how quickly it happens. I didn't even have to stop my camera. Sometimes I stop it for 30 seconds or so just to get it going, but you can see how quickly that happened. So it's really, really nice to have your butter very, very warm. There we go. So whenever you're baking, always check your butter and that's the first thing you should bring out. Bring out your butter and bring it out, bring out your eggs. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna get, I'll slow down my mixer. We don't want a vanilla storm. There we go, we'll just get that incorporated. And then our egg yolk. So we'll pop that in and that is no joke. Okay, I'm really bad with the jokes today. And now, we're gonna start adding in our dry ingredients. All right, I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in here. We're gonna to have to switch over to our spatula at the end because this is gonna get rather thick. So I'm just gonna get this going very slowly. Speed number one. I don't wanna have a dust cloud here. I'm just gonna mix this up. You can see it's getting much, much thicker now. I'm just trying to let my mixer do most of the work. So there we go. I'll put all of the rest in. If you do hear your hand mixer starting to really slow down and you, you hear it changing, you know, the noise that it's making, that's a good indication that it's starting to overwork and it's probably a good thing to stop mixing, you know, using the mixer and do the rest by hand. But we're going okay here. So there we go, that's perfect. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so I've got myself a nine inch tart shell pan here. I'm just gonna get set up. And I guess I should show you, the bottom is removable. You know, when you have the choice of buying a pan like this, always get the removable bottom. Never ever buy one that's not. I don't know, I just like it like this. It just makes life so much easier. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna take our beautiful chocolate dough. Oh, it smells so good. And just get all of it in there, just like that. And then we're gonna start pressing that into place. So you can either use you know, the back of a spatula, switch over to a spoon, you could use the back of a measuring cup, anything you like. And what we want to do here is we want to go up the sides as well. So if you want to have a little bit more control, you can start off just by taking your hand and getting enough up the sides first. So don't start doing a really, really super job on the base, on the bottom. And then you go, oops, I forgot to put it up the sides. So it's kind of like making a deep dish pizza. You want to kind of push it up against the side. Just slowly, gently, kind of coerce it up the side. Just like that. So you see, as I'm pushing, as I'm moving my hand as I'm pushing down, I'm actually, I'm kind of like pushing it this way. I'm not sure if the camera picks that up, but I'm actually pushing it towards the outside as I'm pushing. So I'm pushing down kind of, you know, this way outward. Okay. Now, there are no rules. You can make, you know, your crust on the side, as thick as you want, or as thin as you want. I like, you know, something that's gonna actually hold together properly. You know, so I'm gonna make it like this. So I'll continue doing this, and I'll be back in a few minutes. Not a few seconds, a few minutes. Maybe a minute or so. So what I am going to do is I'm just going to pause the camera right now, I'm going to wash my hands, pause the camera, readjust it, come down here a little bit so that you can actually see a little better what I'm doing because I noticed I am pretty far away so I'll just do that. Okay, I've really, really zoomed in here. So what I'm doing is just going around and just pushing. I just want to get this nice, that looks pretty good. Now. If you see all your little handprints, I mean, no one's ever going to see those. However, if you wanted to, you could go around and just do this, but there's no point. You know, just make sure that it, you don't have any, you know, big ridges, bumps and valleys and whatnot. Where are we? Here we are. Okay. And just go around. There we are. It's kind of hard when you're zoomed in, you forget where you are sometimes. Okay, so that's pretty good. Mmm, that smells so good. I wish you could smell this. Oh, it's delicious. Okay, so just let me zoom out one second. All right, our next step is I'm just gonna grab a fork and I'm just gonna dock our dough. So I'm just gonna go around like this and just put little holes all the way around the dough. Just like this. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pop, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pop this into the fridge for 30 minutes or so, just so that it cools down. And then into a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes. So I'm gonna do all of that. So right now, into my fridge, I'm gonna let it chill for half an hour, then into my oven, 350 degrees for about a half an hour. Then I'm gonna come back and I'll show you and I'll, I'll go over what I did. So, off to the fridge. While our chocolate tart shell is cooling, Let's go through the ingredients for our chocolate filling. We're going to be making a chocolate ganache. I have a cup and a half of heavy whipping cream. This is 35% cream. I also have a total here of one cup and a half of chocolate chips. I'm using Hershey's semi-sweet chocolate chips in this recipe. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up my cream. I want it really, really hot so that we can melt down our chocolate. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to pop this in the microwave, heat it up, and I'll be back. All right, I'm back, and I got my hot cream. There we go. You can hopefully see the steam coming off of that. 
it wasn't quite boiling, but very, very hot. And then, just gonna take our chocolate, so that's one cup, and another half, and there we go. So we have one and a half cups of chocolate and one and a half cups of heavy cream. And now what I would just wanna do is I just wanna let the cream and the chocolate slowly get to know one another. So we can just kinda leave it like that. I'm gonna leave that like that just for about a minute and I'll come back. All right, I'm back. It's been a good minute or so. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my spatula and just slowly start turning, 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 turning. And all of a sudden you're gonna see the magic happen. You can see now the chocolate and the cream starting to combine. Mm -mm. It's actually starting to get thicker now. I can feel the resistance on my spatula. Oh, this is lovely. So this is gonna be the filling for our chocolate tart. Oh, doesn't that look good? Mmm. That looks so yummy. You just want to jump right in there and take a bath. We're just going to keep stirring. Now if you did want to, you can add a little bit of vanilla to this. You could add a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm not going to, but you could if you wanted to. You could add anything in here. You could add a little bit of um, Grand Marnier, which is a, a nice liqueur. That would be good in there too. An orange liqueur. There we go. And that is ready to go. So what I need to do now is I need to let this cool a little bit because that's very, very warm and I don't want to really shock my strawberries. So I'm going to let this cool down a little bit. If you want it to cool down quicker, throw it in the fridge. Or if you're not in a rush, then just leave it out on the counter. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to Pop this in the fridge for a little while, just so it chills down a little bit. What will happen is it's gonna get a little bit thicker. I don't want it too thick because we are gonna be pouring this into our tart shell, but I don't want it as warm as it is. So I'm just gonna pop this in the fridge for about 10 minutes and I'll give it a little stir and I'm just gonna keep my, you know, my eye on it. I'm gonna check the bowl and see how cool it's getting. Okay, oh, that smells so good. So I'll be back when this is ready to go and we're gonna assemble our tart. All right, I just wanted to show you the tart before we start assembling it. I'm just popping it out of my little tart pan. You can see how nice that is having the bottom that you can just pop out like that. And there we go. That smells really, really, really good. So the only thing now that we have to do, I've got my strawberries here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start cutting off the tops of the strawberry right around here and then we're gonna layer them in. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna cut up quite a few of these and I'll be back when I'm ready to assemble. All right, there's my first one. I'm just gonna place that in the middle. You can put your strawberries in any which way you like. I'm just gonna do it like this. All right. We're gonna be flooding this with chocolate so I don't have to be too careful. I don't need my strawberries touching in every single way. If you wanted to, you could take them and cut them into you know quarters and then dump them in as well. I just want all the little tips sticking up, just like that. And there we go. So what I'll do is I'll just fast forward through this portion. So you'll just see me doing this very, very quickly. But you'll get the idea what I'm doing, just like that. And there we go. Beautiful. So now we are ready to flood this with our beautiful, just amazing chocolate ganache. All right, and now I've got my chocolate ganache and I'm just gonna start flooding the whole chocolate tart. I just wanna get that all in there. So now I'm just gonna slow down because I wanna let the ganache kind of find where it's going. I don't wanna overdo it and have it overflow. So let's just watch this for a second. We'll just make sure that everything goes into place. Just like that. I'm just gonna move it around, just help it out. Let gravity do its thing. Just like that. Once we establish that we're okay, then we're gonna add a little bit more. 
Okay. I'm going to just take it from my spatula and just get some in, just dabble it in into certain areas where I missed. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I wish you could smell this. And it doesn't matter if some of the strawberries are completely covered. And there we go. And that looks great. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to get a pizza pan down. There we go. And now, into the fridge. Oh, that looks so good. We're going to let this chill for a couple of hours. So I hope you give this recipe a try. Really, really yummy. Really, really easy. That's it for this video, and I'll see you next time.